they changed things around in here a whole bunch, but I'm at my local thrift store. I want to recreate an Alexander McQueen jacket that I really, really love. But obviously, being Alexander McQueen, it's like thousands upon thousands of dollars, but I want to show you how easy it is to recreate these things. But it's a simple DIY. I know my tried and true tends to be going with blazers, but it's unisex, so that's why I really like them a lot. So. Eventually, I'm gonna get to a slip DIY. I really wanna do one of those. As per protocol, I'm automatically drawn to the lingerie because that's where we always used to go to grab our like girdles and corsets or anything that we can make to look like a corset because corsets were expensive as hell. So I'm gonna have a peek and see what we can find. This is something I would have turned into a skirt, 100%. I would have easily worn that as a skirt. Somebody's having fun back there. I kind of want to go see. Ooh, this is cute. I want to be part of the fun. So while I'm down here, I think we're by the Blazers, or at least close by. So I get to have a look. They moved everything around, so I have no idea where the Blazers are. And what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna completely throw me off course and I'm gonna look at everything that I'm not supposed to be looking at. Where are the pretties? General rule of thumb, does it come in black? If it does, you're already a step ahead of the game. Oh, I see lace. Hmm, what is this? 90s. This is really cute. That is, who makes this? Okay, so, $6.99. Color of the day. It doesn't match, but that's okay. I like it anyway. Wait a minute, is this? Oh my God, it is a spandex unitard. Mustn't veer off course. What is this? It's not quite as oversized as I would like it. The one that we're emulating, it's an oversized blazer, so I need something that's gonna be a little bit bigger. And they're really tight. Be useful, but not today. No. Come on, black blazers, where are you? So the whole point of it being oversized is it's kind of going along with that old punk style where you wore sort of oversized shirts or oversized jackets but with nothing underneath other than like ripped tights and boots. Oh, this is really tightly packed. There's a whole lot going on there that I'm not fully equipped to handle. That's a little bit too oversized. So windows on the lake. We have leather, we have sequins, we have everything. Wow. Nice, but not really important. This is the one. We 
found it. Dropping things. Okay, so what the hell is that? Okay, good. There we go. Stuart's shooting me. Wait. What is this? I reckon this is convertible to make like a, um, uh, what would it be, pulse rifle, like a Terran Marine pulse rifle or something. Or a heavy bolter, oh it's a heavy bolter. Seven bucks. Dude, get it. Look at this. That's gorgeous. It has sort of like crinoline style ruffles and I don't know who makes it but that's okay. And I don't hate the buttons either. Usually the buttons piss me off on most things. I quite like it. I'm really happy that it was this much of a freaking success. I wasn't expecting it to be that quick. What is this? Check it out. An old pair of pleasers. Actually, they look like they've never been worn. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> it's a Sony Cyber Shot. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know. Oh. Can I film you? <laughs> hey, it's Tish Money in the building. Make sure you guys follow me. Just look me up. Tish Money, honey. It's not honey, but Tish Money, okay? Look it up. I make really weird videos. I have a DoorDash video. You're going to laugh. I actually did DoorDash for a little bit, and I ate the ladies' food. Go watch that. <laughs> I spotted these last minute as I was ready to check out. With that, I will be average height. All of the embellishments that I got to create this DIY, I got off of eBay, so you'll find the links to everything in the description. The first thing is the chain. Don't make the same mistake I did. I got the square Rolo box chain, and it was probably one of the worst chains for the job. Firstly, because it doesn't drape very well, and that's because the links are so close together. And because the links are so tightly packed, I couldn't get any of the jump rings through. Now, jump rings are just those little sort of bendable hoops that you can use to attach pendants to things. And that's what you have to do with this chain. Part of the process is you need to attach pendants and charms throughout the length of the chain. And what ended up happening is I had to sew all of the pendants to the chain, which took a little bit longer than necessary. It got the job done, but it's probably a little bit of a hassle that you don't need. As far as amount, I purchased four meters of chain and I used every last bit of it. The next thing you're gonna need is going to be your small pendants and charms. This is what you're gonna use to attach throughout the length of the chain. I'll put the link to where I purchased mine in the description. The next thing you're gonna need is going to be your large pendants or your large charms, and that's what's gonna adorn the lapel. Now, you can go either way with this. Alexander McQueen used brooches, and you can find vintage brooch lots on eBay, and if you just have a search around, you might find some really cool ones. I, on the other hand, I went with large pendants. These are the exact pendants that I purchased, and you'll see in the DIY that these are the ones I used, and I sewed them directly to the jacket. Which leads me to the fourth and final thing that you're going to need to complete this DIY, and that's how to attach everything to the blazer. I myself, I sewed absolutely everything to the blazer, so if you want to go to the letter, needle and thread's the way to go. However, I'm going to put some links in the description for jump rings if you want to choose that method. Okay, so let's get to mapping this project out. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you an idea of what we're working with. Here is an image of the jacket on the runway. And here's another view of it. What I really like, as you can see here, is that it's not just an accessory, it's a feature piece. This is the main event. And another thing that I really like is if you find that this is a little bit too feminine for your taste, you don't really like that overall look, here's the men's version. And both pieces are also quite unisex. So you can decide whether or not you wanna go a little bit more feminine or a little bit more structured and masculine with it. So I love both angles. This is the one we're going with because this is the one that's more my taste. And a few things that are going to be different is that I'm going to be using pendants, jump rings, and safety pins. But here, the McQueen design team used brooches, which is fine if you have them, absolutely use them. But that's what I have, that's what I'm going to be using. And they're not going to be as blingy with all of the, the rhinestones, pearls, opals, but two other things that I don't have are these particular style of brooches. I always called them hat pins, I didn't know that they weren't, but these bits here 
and I think they also serve a purpose. We have one here and one here. And as you can see, it's, the chains, they go over the opening, which makes it a little bit difficult to get in and out. And I think that is the purpose that these brooches serve. So as you can see, you have one chain attached to the fish's butt and then another one to the cap of this pin. So I think what ends up happening is that you take these bits off, you put the jacket on, and then you slip them back in and cap them. That's what I think anyway. But regardless, where there's a will, there's a way. We have safety pins. We're going to make it work. So let's get to it. There's really no rhyme or reason to anything that I'm doing right now. I wanted to just lay out the materials and be inspired by them. It probably sounds a little bit cheesy, but I had no real battle plan. I had a general idea of what I wanted, but I had no idea where I wanted any of this to go. I think that it kind of worked out better that way because you can get really creative and it's just a lot of fun. But you don't have to use the same type of pendants that I did. Obviously, you can go your own route. You go with the pieces that speak to you. But I'm going to put a link in the description anyway of where I got all of these different pieces. So the chain that I bought, I was supposed to get a herringbone chain and I accidentally selected the wrong one. And I probably couldn't have selected a worse chain because it's so tightly packed. The links are so tightly packed together that I couldn't even fit a jump ring through because you have to take a little pendants and randomly attach it throughout the entire chain because if you look at the original jacket, you see that the pendants are dangling from the chain. So what I ended up having to do was sew them on. And since I had the needle and thread out anyway, I decided to just sew all the pendants on instead because rather than go with the safety pins, which are really the tried and true, I did a safety pin DIY jacket before and I didn't want it to end up looking like that. So I had the needle and thread out anyway and I just went with it and I think it worked out for the best in the long run.
This was the point I really felt like I hit the sweet spot, like this was exactly where I wanted to end it. So I want to start mapping out where the chain's going to go. So as I said, the chain, it's quite tightly packed, so I can't get any jump rings in it. I can't use any safety pins. So I'm sewing the chain to the jacket itself, but I want it to look like it's coming from the pendant. So I'm going to sew it to the pendants themselves. You really want to make it look as if the chain is coming directly from the pendants themselves. And I went a little bit more chain crazy because I had more chain than the original jacket and I wanted to use it up, but I kind of like that whole look anyway. But really depending on how much chain you have is going to determine how the jacket really looks. So I probably recommend buying a little bit more than you intend to use. So whatever you don't use, you can just scrap. It's better to have more than not enough. <laughs> 